Welcome, tell us about yourself. Thank you, uh, my name is Anders Holmquist. I am the lead gameplay programmer on Massive Entertainment, a Ubisoft studio. Um, I'm from Lund. I studied civil engineering in computer science. Uh, and then I worked a little bit in the mobile phone industry as a consultant, working with mostly Toshiba and Microsoft. And after that, I went on to the gaming industry, and I've never really looked back. What does a lead gameplay programmer do? Ooh, um, a lot. Um, I try to keep my team in going in a certain direction. I try to make sure everybody, nobody's blocked. I try to coordinate with all the other teams, so talk with artists, talk with the designers, make sure everybody's working on the same thing. Um, I plan, and then sometimes when I'm lucky, I also get to program a bit. How many programmers do you lead? I lead worse, eight gameplay programmers on my team, uh, soon nine, growing all the time. Besides programmers, do you interact a lot with other disciplines? Design is the, the biggest. We try to work very tightly with design, so when we have a feature, we take desi a designer and a coder and they work together, iterate, sit together and uh, try to get, get the best they can out of it. But also a lot with other disciplines, a lot with art, a lot with online, tech programmers, tools programmers, sound. I, I think the gameplay programmers are, are probably the guys interacting with the most other disciplines. Uh, what project have you worked on so far? I worked on World in Conflict, which was released 2007. I did a little bit for the expansion, but not very much. Uh, after that, there was on the concept team, so we did a lot of prototypes uh, for different games we wanted to make. And right now, I'm working on an unannounced, uh, quite big product. Games is said to be a very rapidly changing industry. Uh, how does that affect you and what do you do to keep up? Uh, to be honest, I'm, I'm quite bad at keeping up. I, I don't really... I don't read like Gamasutra and those as much as I should, perhaps. Uh, luckily, I have a lot of colleagues that read both uh, developer sites, read things like the game dev Reddit, things like that. And then they usually tell me, oh, Anders, you should look at this or you should read this. Also, I try to look at some of the DDC talks and things like that, Nordic Game. Uh, we also have an internal one within Ubisoft that's called UDC, which is very similar to UDC, but only Ubisoft Studios. And that's also very good because you can talk to other people from other studios. So I should probably be better, but, but people tell me when I need to read stuff normally. What inspired you to get into game development? Ooh, I, I was very, very young. I think I was five years old. And my father brought home an, an IBM PC and it had wonderful CGA graphic with four colors. And I started playing King's Quest. So, so one of the things, the first things I actually learned to type was open door. <laughs> and that was basically the only thing I could type. Uh, and, but I got really hooked. And after that, I started playing uh, more like text games. There were like Planetfall, Hitchhiker's Guide from the Galaxy, Sork. Um, and I really loved those games. So I figured I want to do something similar myself. Uh, so I started doing like simple text adventures in basic and that's how I started doing games and I realized I want to do this for life. It's so fun. How did you get your first job in the games industry? <laughs> um, I had a friend who I had worked with, with before who got a job at Massive as an online programmer and he said it's, it's really great here, you should come. And I was, I, I figured like that's never gonna work. Everybody who applies is like John Carmack, and I don't know anything in comparison. So I figured I, I don't have a chance, but I, I applied anyway, uh, and I got interviewed, and they apparently liked me. Big mistake. Uh, but I got hired, and that, that's, that's the way it is. Now that you work with games, is it like you expected? Yeah, it actually is. <laughs> I think my, my biggest my biggest misconception was that I, I thought everybody were like gods at what I did and that I didn't know anything. And that's not the case always. Um, like everywhere else, there's very good people and there's less good people. In general, I would say the quality is very high in the gaming industry, but not everybody are John Carmack. Uh, what would you say is the best part about your job? I think it's the people. Uh, both working with incredible people, but also you're doing something that people care a lot about and that they enjoy. Like when you make a game, 
people write on forums, they write reviews, they really care, they argue about it. Sometimes they say you're really stupid because you did something. But in general, uh, just seeing somebody care that much about something you did is, is a wonderful feeling. And doing it with other people that are, are incredible people and very good at what they do is very nice. Do you have any advice for people who want to make with, make, work with games? I think it's going to be very classic advice, which is to be very passionate about what you do. Uh, be very clear about what you're passionate about. Like, don't try to, to fit into what you think they want. Be passionate about things that you care about. And also be able to show work you've done. Uh, because that, that, that's by far the easiest way to, to get into the industry. If you can show you do good things and you get things done, then you're basically in. Thank you. No problem.